Hi folks, Robin here. In today's film, I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite apps for backpacking and hiking in the UK. So let's get stuck right in. So the first app is Peak Finder Earth. This is a mountain identification tool. And just to start off, I'll show you here. I've got Petlands on the left and I've got Arthur Seat on the right. And the app has picked him up, plus all the smaller tops. This also has the sunset and sunrise times, so you can see here the sun will set at 21.03 hours. The times are pretty much bang on, uh, you can set that to the last minute. Really good for time lapses and photography, or if you want to set an alarm to get up in the morning for the sunrise, you can rely on this to give you an accurate time, because it obviously takes into consideration your location. There's the West Lomond and East Lomond over in Fife. So yeah, this is one of my favourite apps for mountain identification. And you can also get the moon rise and set times as well. For my second app, I've picked ViewRanger. This is what I use for navigation when I'm out on the hills. So if we just fire it up on the screen now. So as you can see, it's picked him up at the Ash Lagoons in Musselburgh. And um, this is predominantly what I use it for, just to, as a reference to check where I am. I use it like I would with a paper map, just to read. But of course, you can obviously record tracks and you can download routes to follow as well. So it's a really good app. It's very easy to use. You can also, as well as OS maps, you can use Harvey maps. If you're abroad, there's also maps for all over the world as well. So it's a really good, flexible app. You can download tiles like I have. So I own those tiles for life. Uh, I've got most of Scotland, some of the Lake District, a bit of Wales. And you can also get a subscription, which is I think £25 a year, and that gets you the whole of Great Britain. I'm not a big fan of subscriptions, so I'm sticking with the map tiles. But that is it there, basically. So if I zoom over, to the west of Scotland. You can see there the tiles that I've, I've not purchased. Tiles cost around sort of seven to eight credits and you can buy credit bundles for like five to 15 pounds or more. So there you go, there's my Cape Raft Trail marked out. That was meant to be doing at the moment if it wasn't for lockdown. If you're interested to learn a bit more about ViewRanger, I'll pop a link to another video that I made that'll go more in depth about navigation with a phone. For my third app, I have picked OS Locate. This is quite a simple but effective app. I'll just pop up on the screen now. As you can see here, it's gave me my six digit grid reference. This is ideal for emergencies, you're lost in the cloud, you need to take a bearing on your paper map, you can go in, fire up the GPS, put the app on, get your grid reference and get out of there. Or it could be another scenario where you need to phone for a rescue, you're not quite sure where you are, again, fire up the app, give the emergency services your grid reference and they'll pass it on to Mountain Rescue. It's got a little bits and bobs as well, it's got a compass. Let's see how accurate it is. So... That's me facing north now. I don't have a, a normal compass to compare that, but that seems about right, actually. Um, I did calibrate the phone earlier for the Peak Finder app, but yeah, that's quite good, actually. Everywhere you go, always take the weather with you. Right, if you haven't already guessed, this is a weather forecasting app. It is Mountain Weather UK and it pulls in the Met Office and NWIS, which is the Mountain Weather Information Service. This is really good, I'll um, just show you. Here you can pick pretty much any area in the UK. If you go into a particular area, we'll go for Southwest Highlands. You can get a five day forecast. If you go back, you can, you can pick a particular summit. If you go home, you can then go to the NWIS weather forecast. 
and again we we'll just put the West Highlands for example and that just gives you the usual what you would expect on the website if you go back home it also has a forecast map here it does things like the the rain radar which is quite handy and if we just go back again it's got temperatures and other little nifty little things if that's your bag it's not an essential app but because obviously you've got you can go into the websites but if you've got data this is really good just to pull in all the forecasts together into one handy app i quite like it it's also got the avalanche it's also got the avalanche information service which is only available for scotland at the moment okay my fifth and final app is the british hills app this is predominantly a bagging app if you're a peak bagger as you can see here it's got scotland wales england and other gb hills and i'll just show you scotland for example if you're a munro bagger you can tick off all your munros i don't really use it for ticking off munros what i use this for is if i'm on the summit of a hill in the mist and i'm not quite sure if i'm at the correct top i.e there's maybe a trig point in a cairn this here gives you the grid reference of the summit. It gives you the summit feature as well. So the Ben McDewey, for example, it says summit feature, trig point on large platform. So that's pretty obvious, but there's other ones that can be a bit more obscure than that. It's got your classifications there as well. Some Maryland, some Monroe, a historic county top, blah, 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 blah. Again, if you've got data, you can fire up the OS map here. And this will show you where it is. And you can pair that against your ViewRanger, for example. Okay, for my bonus app, I'm going to show you Snapseed, which is a photo editing app and it's free and it's a Google based one. I'm just a point and shoot photographer. I'd, I'll try and look for a composition, but I'm not too fast really. But what I'll do is I'll just take a quick photo here. I'll turn off the AI on the phone. So I've got the Pentlands and Arthur Seat and some of the sea in front of me there. I'll use that dirt track as a bit of composition. I'll take that photo, there we go. Now, if I then open Snapseed, put this photo on that I've just took. You can see here you've got different, it's about like Instagram, you can set different filters. Some of them can be quite nice, I'm not that fussed in the filters. What I tend to do, oops, is go to Tools. HDR and if you want your photo looking as fake as Katie Price you can ramp that up that looks a bit OTT so I just sort of tone it down a wee bit so there's the original if I just sort of add a wee bit of you just make the clouds a bit darker a bit more dramatic and save that And I'll show you the two images back to back. All right, folks, well, that's it. That's your five apps plus Snapseed for your photos for posting up on Instagram and Facebook. If you've got any questions about any of the apps that I've um, gone through today, please drop them in the comments section below. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one and I hope you're well.